All right, guys, finally got a little bit of time to get out here and do a little work on the truck. I think I've broken it down into the steps that I want to do. The first step is going to be, you know, removing the bed and shortening the frame. And then, you know, obviously at that point, I have to relocate the fuel tank and, you know, and then I'll need to get shorter brake cables and stuff like that, shorten my drive line. So I think I'm going to do that first. I'll get everything, you know, shortened and figure out what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to start working on the flatbed after that. And then I think I might retain this box. I might, I don't know, or I might get it like a smaller box. I like this box a lot because I can fit all my tools and, and everything in there. And then I don't have stuff rolling around the bed. And You know what I mean? I like taking this little box. I put all of my fluids and stuff in it, but... I don't know, I might be able to consolidate them to just one box, but I should be able to like put this stuff on the bed too. You know, as long as I can hold my spare and my box, I should be good to go. So I'm gonna get up under here. If you haven't taken a bed off before, which I'm sure all of you probably have, there's just some bolts that go, like some carriage bolts that run through here. They run through the frame rail. So uh, I think I'm missing a couple. So I think there's, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think I got like six of them. And then there's a plug for the lights that I'll have to remove. I don't think there's really anything else other than my fuel field over here, uh, which goes through the support there. So I'll have to, I'm gonna have to loosen that and let it hang while I'm pulling the bed off. But yeah, so that's really it, not a whole lot. I just, man, I just haven't really had any time to get out here. It's just these days have been flying by and you know, the time just gets away from me. So anyways, I'm gonna start on that now and see if I can get a few minutes in before the, before the boy wakes up from nap. All right, it's hanging now. I was able to drive the truck out from underneath it. So uh, pretty much I did a chain across and then like two cross straps. So I've done it with straps across, you know, like Harbor Freight straps from one, one end to the other and it seemed like they were pretty weak. So most of the weight is all held by this chain in the center and these just keep the front up from nose diving. So if you want to get a look and see, let the camera refocus, get a look and see what's going on down here and how my setup is. You can see all this is going to change, obviously. Yeah, so we're getting ready to do something up here. All right, let me uh, handle this bed. We'll get going. All right, so I wanted to kind of just go over a little bit about where I'm at and what's going on here. So um, I need to drop the tank. Um, just kind of get the all this stuff out of the way along the frame rail really it's just some some wiring on this side here and uh, this being my uh, fuel pump wiring and you know the power wire and all that good stuff and then on this side here I've got my fuel lines and my uh, Corvette fuel filter regulator thingy majangy that's uh, like kind of loose but anyways so that's it so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna cut everything at exactly that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna figure out where I want to cut the sliders that way I can uh, rework them and it's kind of cool this this ends here so I can kind of you know maybe in this here and there and then add another little crossbar and then it's got plenty of bracing on the front and the back and I'll be good to go so since it'll be shorter I think the three standoffs will work good so my plan is to really just do like 10 inches. So I'm gonna kind of go like right here, bang, and right here, bang. Um, the plan is to just do, I'm gonna do a straight cut here, do a straight cut here, and then I'm gonna butt it up, and I'll, you know, make sure everything's straight. I bought, bought a bunch of clamps from up at Harbor Freight, so I should be able to get three clamps on each side. I have a design for my flatbed, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is right now. I'll let you see it. If you're a Patreon member, then uh, I'm going to post a picture over there. A um, couple things. Let me flip it around here. All right, guys. So people ask, how do you help out Mr. White Ellis One? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. Um, I do have some t-shirts, so links is down below. Um, I have a couple different designs. I'm working on some more designs now, so stay tuned. But if you want to check out the shirts, you can do that. Another way you can do it is become a Patreon pledge. Uh, it's a dollar a month. You get a free channel sticker. I give you a shout out on my next video. 
and uh, you help the cause. And so what I like to do over there is do some videos and some pictures and just basically behind the scenes stuff. So like tonight, I'll post a little video and a picture on the page for the Patreon pledges. And then, you know, like this video is probably not going to come out for until I make more progress and then it'll come out as one piece later on. So if you guys want to get hooked up with that, um, you know, I want to get good conversation going on over there, you know, get your guys' feedback, stuff like that. So that's how you can help me out. All right, guys. This is where we're at here. I've got the, I've got some stands up under here, and I uh, shimmed them with like quarter inch, a quarter inch triangle gusset I had, and uh, I let air out of the back tires, and now I'm sitting level, both sides for the most part. Now I know things are going to change once. I'm sure that the weight of the rear end, you know, is pulling, is pulling the frame down a little bit. So after I cut it, it might spring back up a little bit and we'll have to go from there. So I'm thinking with it level right now and I let most of the air out of the tires just to try to like lower it as much as I could. So I'm going to put my jack, I think right up underneath this cross member and, and cut it and make sure my cuts are nice and straight. And then I will get it pulled up and see if I can get it straight. Now if I have to, I might have to take off the wheels and put it on the dollies and do some jacking and do different things like that. But I think, um, I think as it stands right now, I think once I make my cuts, it shouldn't move too much. Like I said, this side, this might, you know, might spring up just a little bit cause that, you know, there's weight pulling it down. So we'll have to see. And then maybe I can just add a little air to the rear tires and just get it, get everything lined up nice and straight. So uh, that's the goal. I've never done this before, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to uh, get my jack up underneath here. That way when I cut it, it don't flop on me. And then uh, I've got stands underneath there. So 
I've actually had stands under there while I've had the rear end off the ground, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think it's far enough back to where all the engine and the front axle and everything, it's not going to fall down on me. So I'm going to attempt to make my cuts and we'll see how she goes. Well, fellers, I cut my truck in half. <laughs> I can see there are my cuts. Now, everything was pretty good up here and then even all the way down, but when I turned that bottom corner, it was really hard getting it straight, so I may got a little bit of a gap there, but for the most part, it was pretty straight, and I was surprised. Actually, just I got some fresh, some fresh Sawzall blades, some fresh DeWalters, and uh, just pretty much cut right through the frame, no issues. So you can see my two pieces here. Put them side by side, you can see how how they match up. I mean, they're basically they're basically exactly the same. I mean, there might be a, just a touch off. The only part that's really off is these two sections. Let's see if I can turn that around. I'm gonna cut myself, but so the only part that's really off is just like like I said, going around the bottom there. You can see I got a little. A little, little bin there, but overall, I mean, nothing that I can't, you know, I mean, I can, I can fill that with weld, and then, like I said, with the fish plate and everything, so I'm going to cut these for my fish plate once I'm done, and then those holes in the middle, I'll plug weld those, so that should be pretty good. So really what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to clean it up. I mean, I'm not going to take a whole lot off, since those are about the same measurement you know i'm not cutting it for a short bed so i don't have to make sure like i'm right at 14 inches or any crap like that i'm just taking 10 inches out and those are pretty good so i'm going to clean these up i'm not going to go too far to where i like get out of whack i'm just going to clean them up i'm going to put a little bit of a grind them down a little bit that way i can get a nice good weld All right, guys, here we go. Got her back together. I would say that those clamps really helped out. So uh, I didn't exactly stack dimes, but I don't know, it ain't going nowhere. Pretty proud of it, don't look too crazy. And uh, I'm also gonna weld the inside of the channel as well, and then I'm gonna clean up the welds, put my fish plate, so. Yeah, yeah, that ain't bad. Could be better, but it ain't bad. So then, you know, as you can see, I got some penetration there and then put my plates on. So I'm just gonna let it let it cool off for a little while. I think it's pretty much pretty much cool right now. 
and uh, then I'll release the uh, I don't know probably release all the tension and stuff on it and I don't think it's gonna move anywhere so uh, if it moves then uh, I'm in trouble <laughs> so that's it so I appreciate you so this is kind of like um, you know just start of phase one we still have to build the bed and yeah so we got still got to so got to mock up the fuel tank and build the bed and then we'll be uh, cutting this I don't know probably about here ish and then my deal that I built over here uh, it will uh, I think I'll feel better with that because it'll be closer to the um, to the hangers or the shackle flip or whatever and then that way it'll kind of keep the frame from moving around so that's pretty stiff quarter inch stuff behind it and yeah so I don't know if I'm missing anything uh, hit me up in the comments but I think she came along pretty good and like I said I, the come along in conjunction with the with the uh, clamps really really made it really made it a lot easier because those clamps just they really worked well so uh, like once I kind of got the one side together I could kind of clamp it and then I could pull it in with the come along and then once I clamp the other I mean everything was like nice and straight and then once I check my measurements I, I didn't even have to take really any more material off I'm only off like 16th of an inch six between a 16th and an eighth and I can live with that so I heard somebody say you know no more than an eighth so I'm pretty happy with that the uh, jigsaw cut pretty well I was happy with it um, I can't get the straightest cuts or not sorry the um, sawzall um, cut pretty well and when I got to the bottom I kind of messed up a little bit but it didn't seem to affect anything so I would say you know as long as you're taking out the same amount of material on both sides now this is obviously like I said this isn't a you know short bed conversion I just wanted to take 10 inches out so it'll wheel better and uh, we'll get on the flatbed next so I appreciate you guys thanks for rolling with me talk to you soon all right well she's sitting uh, just I got the jack stands out and uh, aired up the rear tires and everything's looking good like I said I'm off like 16th of an inch or so so I think that's pretty good the um, what else yeah so basically you know I used those clamps and the clamps held everything together and so the room that I had in between the clamps I just slowly started you know tack tack and I put like three four tacks on this side like three tacks I think I put one here one there and one there and then checked everything moved to the other side checked it put three tacks in the same spot checked it again and then uh, I added a little bit more like an inch and then an inch there and then just started slowly taking off the clamps and welding and then I would just come to this side and go like an inch or so and then I go back to that side an inch and then I just started taking off clamps as I went along and she seemed to come out pretty good so yeah so uh probably plenty and plenty strong enough right now uh you know what i mean but we obviously got to beef it up so like i said we'll weld the inside and uh, then i'll grind it down i'll probably like leave the leave the bead there but i'll grind it flat here and then i'll put my plate on and we'll be good to go